uh, I submitted this question. But you voted for the $787 billion stimulus bill, and that has contributed to approximately $1.2 trillion deficit. My question is, do you believe this was justified? And if so, why? Thank you for your question. Thank you for having me here. I think it was absolutely necessary. And not only economists, but most business people who have looked into this issue agree that we probably prevented a depression by passing that bill. Not only economists, but uh, the guy that was ahead of McCain's economic panel and advisors, John McCain's, agrees that in fact this prevented uh, a much greater disaster. The belief is, according to various studies, that it's going to have produced something like 3.5 million jobs by the end of this year. Not all of it has been spent. Not all of it has been spent as fast as we would like. But it has helped. And it was absolutely necessary because ne nothing else was going on in the economy at that point. Things were so dead stop. People had inventories, businesses had inventories they couldn't do anything with. They weren't able to hire new people. They couldn't get any credit. It was, to me, a one-time deal that was necessary in light of the reckless policies that had preceded it, which, frankly, I oppose. But it's even better than that. The thing that is conveniently ignored by people who cite this number, they act as if it's just a bunch of spending, almost $280 billion of it, 35 percent, was a tax cut, plain and simple, a tax cut for 95 percent of all working families in America through withholding. So people sort of ignore that part of it. But that's very significant, and I assume that people don't believe we should not have had that tax cut to put some money in people's hands. It also helped in some areas where we were very worried about the loss of jobs of police officers, firefighters, and teachers. The other day I had the honor of being with the chief of police of Milwaukee, and he had 46 new trainees there, wonderful people who are going to be police officers in this community, and that was entirely funded through the stimulus bill through the recovery. So it certainly didn't work miracles. To me, it was just the first step. The Hire Act that we passed, which is a direct tax credit to businesses for hiring people laid off, it's the next step. The small business bill that we just passed that provides credit uh, to banks so they can lend money is another step. And then on top of that, I would like to see a, a broader jobs tax credit. But no, I defend uh, very strongly uh, the correctness of the vote on yet, the Recovery yet, Act. Yet people are still out of work. Uh, so uh, was it enough? I think it was enough of that. In other words, it was not paid for. And that goes against the approach that I take in almost every case. I believe that it was an example of an emergency where we had to prime the pump. But if you keep doing that, if you keep passing things that aren't paid for, I think you become the pump. And so I have a, I've been one of the strongest voices on both sides of the aisle saying, if we want to do the FMAP money to help with Medicaid, uh, if we want to pass the bill that had to do with teachers, I insisted that it be paid for. In fact, even the Hire Act, which I mentioned, which was passed in February to provide the tax breaks, was paid for. So to me, this was an unusual situation, and we had to do something. And of course, Ricardo, <laughs> no, it didn't solve all our economic problems. But we have had eight straight months of positive growth in private employment in this country. It's not fast enough, but it's a good trend. And in Wisconsin, the unemployment numbers are still very serious at 7.8, but they are two, almost two full points lower than the national average. So we have come back faster. We are better positioned than other states to benefit from some of this, and I think clearly we have benefited from the Recovery Act and the other items.